What's that word you use? Spoilers. 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 I like that word. I thought you might. Hello everyone and welcome to Review Who and today we'll be taking a guided tour of the Space Museum. Originally, I debated whether to review this and the next story, The Chase, in one review or not. Because whilst in the classic series the idea of previous stories leading into the next one is nothing new, the Space Museum does feel like the first part in an overall two-parter. And whilst you do get this feeling in some other classic stories, most notably in the Key to Time and Trial of a Time Lord seasons, for me personally, the Space Museum feels more like the first part in a two-parter in a more new series way. At first glance, this story might seem typical Doctor Who. The crew lands somewhere, trouble ensues, and they have to sort things out. And you'd be right. However, what really makes this story stand out to others along the same lines is in this story, it's not just the usual race for the team to escape the events with their lives, but a challenge to prevent their own possible future of becoming nothing more than exhibits in a museum. It also gives us the first real introduction into the narrative of the concepts of different dimensions of time and alternate timelines, which in turn leads to some great scenes and dialogue with the Doctor discussing these facts with his companions. I don't mind admitting I've always found it extremely difficult to solve the fourth dimension. What makes these moments really stand out is that it puts the narrative of the show and the audience on equal footing. As whilst the Doctor is explaining all of this to his companions, it also gives you the impression that even to the Doctor this is somewhat of a new experience. Before I sat down to re-watch this story to write my review, my memory of the Space Museum is mainly of two warring sides who don't necessarily negotiate, but it seems like they certainly did more talking than they did fighting. However, in re-watching it, I find that the balance between action and dialogue is fairly evenly matched. The dialogue comes more in terms of the previously mentioned story section in the situation the Doctor and his companions find themselves in, whilst the action is derived more from the battle between the Morrocks and the Xerons. There is some talking at times, but at the time we and the companions enter the story, they've already been battling for a long time, so you get the sense that the time for negotiations has long since passed. However, for all the action in this story, its best moment comes at the end of the final episode, but it's actually action through dialogue. In the first episode, we are teased with an inactive Dalek, and it feels like that's all we're going to get, a slight cameo role. But then at the end, it's revealed that not only are the Daleks back, but they are intending to chase our companions across time, leading neatly into the next story. As I said, this is very much action through dialogue, but as far as the cliffhanger ending goes, it really does give the impression that for the Doctor and the companions, the trouble is only just beginning. At the beginning of this review, I mentioned how this story feels like more in the first part of a more new series style two-parter. Well, that's actually quite appropriate because this story shares a common point with the series of many two-parters that was series nine. The Dalek seen in the museum in this story was actually the very last time the non-slatted classic Dalek design would be seen until the series nine two-part opener, The Magician's Apprentice. And I do actually have a fan theory that links these two together but that's for another video. In short, I am undecided about this story. As a standalone story, it's probably not one of the best, although it does have some great moments which make it worth watching. However, if you are definitely planning on watching The Chase, then it doesn't hurt to watch this story beforehand, and in some ways, it might make you appreciate slash enjoy this story that little bit more. And that brings to a close another review who, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. And be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. There is an exclusive webcomic and rewards for people who support it. And the funding generated by my Patreon helps me fund future videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.